Hello and welcome to Hands-On Functional c -sharp. My name is Georgi Parlokov and I've been a web developer for more than 7 years now using c -sharp for web applications in e-banking, oil and gas and open source projects. I've come to respect and enjoy working with c -sharp functional features as part of my everyday work and I'm here to share my knowledge and experience with you. Using lots of examples and building a small books application will present the functional features that c -sharp provides and how to incorporate them in a real project. In our first section, getting to grips with functional c -sharp, we'll start with a demonstration of how some c -sharp code using functional features looks like and we'll talk a bit about the development setup required to follow along with the course. In section 2, refactor the for loop, we'll show some of the pain points of the for loop and then we'll look into I enumerable and how that can help alleviate some of the pain points. In our section 3, using link, we'll explore the concepts of link and learn about func of t and action of t. We'll also learn about lazy evaluation and closure. In our section 4, extending link, we'll show how to extend link with our own methods. In section 5, called clean with pure functions, we'll explore the concept of pure function and see how it can help us and we'll refactor some of our existing code into pure function. In our section 6, isolating the side effects, we'll see the side effects and why we need those. And we'll highlight where in our code the side effects do and do not belong. Our final section 7, putting the application together, we'll show a few unit tests to prove our app is actually testable, We'll show how to incorporate the functional code in a dependency injection setup similar to what we usually have in our production apps. And then we'll summarize some general approaches when one wants to gradually incorporate functional c -sharp into a real-world app. The aim of this course is to present the functional features that c -sharp offers in such a way that every c -sharp programmer can actually use them and their advantages today. We'll do that with many examples and codes. We will not go too deep in functional programming theory and skip over the parts of functional that are not supported out of the box with C-sharp, like immutability. Every section in of our course will add some functionality to our books application, demonstrating the code and use cases for the functional features. By the end of the course, you should be able to use an extent link, understand where pure functions belong and where side effects are required, take a regular c -sharp code and refactor it to use the functional features without breaking it and making it more readable, testable and maintainable. Some prerequisites for the course. You should have basic understanding of c -sharp and have .NET Core installed. For IDE, we'll be using Visual Studio or Visual Studio Code. We'll go over the dev setup in section 1 and we'll see how to install those.